Hey guys, today we are building a DIY concrete vanity top for the master bathroom. I've went ahead to save some time. I've done a bunch of work already and I just want to talk about what I've done so far. What I have here is a 48 inch vanity top. It's actually slightly bigger than that. It's uh, 50 inches by 21 and a half inches. It's two inches deep. The reason why it's slightly bigger is I want a half inch overhang all the way around the tabletop. There is a roughly a half inch thickness of this uh, rough rock edge liner. I got this from a place called Concrete Expressions LTD. It's two inches, so it's the same height as my uh, box here. And I'm hoping that it's gonna kind of give it a nice cool finish along the front and the sides to match kind of the tile work that I have in there, which is a stone tile look. So I've just cut it and pieced it into each side, except for the back. In addition to that, I've gone around and I've hit all the edges along the base of the edge liner and the corners of where my melamine touches each other to just seal those corners, give it a nice rounded over edge. You can use any color silicone that you want. I'm using black only because the melamine is white. And so the contrast is easy to see. You can see where you've used too much, thin it out or uh, anything like that. You can use clear, you can use white. I just chose to use black because it's easier to see. Let's talk about some of the other stuff that I have here. Uh, this is a 24 inch sink mold. This is a fiberglass sink mold. And then I've gone ahead and I put on three coats of this mold release wax. This is a brand new mold. I've never used it before. I wanna make sure that the concrete doesn't stick to it when I pour it and that it's easy to kind of remove when I need to. In addition to that, I've got these uh, rubber sink knockouts. I went ahead and I measured out where my faucet, I wanted my faucet to be. You may not need three. I use three because I have a fixture that uh, has three independent, you know, two faucet handles and one uh, main faucet stem itself. But uh, make sure you know what fixture you're gonna use prior to doing this so that you know what uh, how many knockouts you need and where they need to be spaced and all that kind of stuff. I've got a little bit more work to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna attach the sink mold to the melamine. Uh, I've already marked it out here, traced it where I wanted it to be and then applied the wax. So I know where it needs to go, I just need the silicone in place. And I'm just gonna put four simple beads in each corner. One there, simple one, little bit. It's okay if you use a little bit too much, that's all right, we'll wipe it off. One there, one here, and one right there. And the reason why I'm gonna just put those four beads in the corners is sometimes the molds can be a little uh, uneven, and that's just gonna help level it out before I uh, continue on. So I've already traced on the tabletop where this needs to go, so I'm just following the edges of what I've already drawn out, making sure it's lined up correctly, it's square. All right, let's see here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my silicone and I'm gonna actually just run a nice bead all the way around the sink and that should hold it in place once it dries. I should have done this before I put these knockouts in place. I'm realizing now because it's very difficult to work around these knockouts. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna have to go through and uh, probably hit this with the slurry coat afterwards. Anyway, fill in our little voids and all that. So while we let this set up, I need to build the second part of our form. This is gonna be a two part form, this being the base, and there's gonna be a secondary form that sits on top uh, about two inches on either side of the sink and extend over each side. So I've gone ahead and I've ripped some strips on the table saw that uh, will give us what we need. So one's gonna go inside here like this, one on the back side. And that's just to keep the concrete from slumping kind of down uh, over the table. I'm gonna build the secondary form separate from actually being on top of the uh, first form itself only because I don't wanna get a lot of debris and stuff uh, in here that I'm gonna to have to clean out later. I'm gonna clean it anyway, but uh, I don't wanna to get too much sawdust and stuff that could affect the, the pour later. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and build that box real quick and uh, we'll go from there. 
Okay, so I built my secondary form. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's a little simple kind of box that goes on top here. I angled this front piece only so that I could keep the concrete more in line with the slope of the sink mold. But the rest of it is just kind of sits over top. And what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll pour the initial concrete down in the bottom here. Uh, I've got two pieces of 48 inch rebar. I wanna use these just to kind of reinforce the vanity top only because there'll be weight on it. Maybe somebody will lean on it here and there. Put one in the front here, probably one in the back. Um, and that should help give it some extra strength. I want to just go ahead and give that like a nice good clean. I'm gonna do that with some uh, denatured alcohol. It's just gonna uh, clean up some of the excess silicone that's lying around. Then I'm going to hit the whole thing with this uh, Crete Lease uh, release agent spray. I wanna make sure I hit all the edges of the rubber edge liner. I'm gonna spray the base, I'm gonna spray the sink as well. Concrete won't really stick to the melamine, but it might stick to some of the rubber and stuff like that. So make sure to spray everything really good. Then I'm just gonna go back through with this paper towel, kind of wipe it down a little bit. So I'm just wiping down any areas where it's kind of clunky and chunky. Overall, in terms of uh, cost, this is a pretty expensive project, only because I'm using uh, pre-made molds and some of the pre-made products that kind of are sold for this kind of work. Um, now that I have it, I could potentially make more of them, so it could be a little less expensive, but these sink, fiberglass sink molds are pretty expensive, and as are some of these other products, they're not cheap, and does it save me money in the long run? I hope so, in terms of getting a, a concrete vanity top like this. Getting a custom made one, I imagine, would be even more expensive. So I'm hoping that this is gonna save some money, and also, I've never done it before, so it's something that I've always wanted to try. And anything that can expand my skill set a little bit, I'm happy to do. So we are ready to pour. As far as concrete goes, I'm using Quickcrete 5000, which is just a simple bagged concrete you can get at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or any of those places. And I am nervous, I am excited, and I'm hoping for the best because uh, I really don't know what to expect. Okay, so I finally have the vanity top poured. I am a mess, I'm tired. It was a lot more labor intensive than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I would be able to knock it out a lot easier than I actually did. I made a mistake a little bit on the upper form. Uh, I should have been a little bit more careful. It looks like this front piece that I put on that's kind of on an angle to follow the slope of the sink uh, mold itself wasn't quite low enough so that there was a little tiny gap underneath and that little tiny gap was enough to cause me a lot of problems anything that i poured up top here i got a lot of slumping anytime i went to vibrate the table overall the sides and stuff were pretty easy the only thing that was a big problem was i was actually mixing the concrete outside lugging it in here and then uh, trying to pour it in and so lugging it back and forth was a little uh, cumbersome i was only mixing in the five gallon buckets and this uh, table actually took a bit more concrete than I was anticipating. I expected the table to take about maybe two bags of concrete, uh, but it actually is about two and a half to close to three bags of concrete. But you know what? It's a, it was a great learning experience. It's the first time I've ever tried it. And uh, if nothing else, if it doesn't come out the way I wanted, if nothing else, I'll know how to fix it for the next time. I vibrated the hell out of the table using this big uh, dildo looking thing on a, on a drill. This is a concrete vibrator. You can grab one of these at, uh, I got this one at Harbor Freight. It was about 99 bucks. 
Uh, you just kind of dip it in, it makes a hell of a noise, and it just brings up all the air bubbles to the surface, which is what you want to eliminate all the bug holes and stuff. The only unfortunate side effect of using this was I was getting so much slumping because like I said of that little gap that I left earlier. For a first try, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna cover this whole thing in plastic and I'm gonna let it sit for about four days before I actually take everything off and take off the edge liners and, and see what we get. And then at the end of those four days, we'll see if we have a good looking vanity top or if we have to start from scratch. Hopefully it looks great and we can move forward. All right, so we got the forms popped off and we have our uh, concrete vanity top all uh, released from our forms and everything. We still gotta knock these uh, sink knockouts out, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. 